see yesterday we have started interest cal calculation configuration as a part of it we have completed up to four steps now see the step number five enter interest values so what is the actual rate of interest we have to define them in the system now <coughs> SPRO, our path is same as above. SPRO, financial accounting, general ledger accounting, business transactions, bank account interest calculation, interest calculation, enter interest values. Click on new entries. Reference rate of interest. Yesterday we have defined one reference rate of interest, B1. Valid from 1-1-2017, interest rate 12%. So yesterday I told you, for every actual rate of interest, we define one different rate of interest, no? So for that reference rate of interest, we assign the actual rate of interest here. Suppose if you have another reference rate of interest, let us say B, B2. interest rate 11% like that we assign all the actual rate of interest in this particular screen for the reference rate of interest this is B2 now see the next step creation of interest account here when the system calculates interest it has to post the accounting entries automatically so when the interest is calculated, what is the entry to be posted? We debit interest account and we credit respect to term loan account. So first we have to create interest account and after that we have to create all the respect to term loan accounts. So as a part of it, first let us create interest account. And we have an account group. Interest rate, OBD4. If you go to OBD4, you can see your account groups. See, we have an account group interest and the defined number range is 4,400 to 4,499. So I am taking 4,400. Transaction code FS00. GL account is equal to 400,400. 400. I hope everybody is writing in the material the steps every day. They are very much necessary for you to do the practice. Company code is equal to double three double six. Go to menu GL account create. The account group is interest. The account group is interest. Select PNL statement account. Short text is equal to interest account. Short text is equal to interest account. GL account long text is also interest account. Go to control data tab. Account currency USD. Select only balances in local currency. Select to line item display. Sort key 001. Then go to create bank interest tab, field status group G001, click on save. Now, see the next step, creation of term loan account. Here, the term loan accounts are always secured loans because the term loans are secured by the assets of the company. So this term loan account is to be created under secured loans account group, right? So we have an account group secured loans. And we have defined the number ranges 1,300 to 1,399. So I am taking 1,300 because this is the first account we are creating. Now, how many number of term loan accounts you have to create? Please remember, for every loan agreement, we have to maintain one term loan account. In HDFC Bank, we have one term loan. Create HDFC Bank term loan account. In ICSA Bank, you have one term loan account. Create one more 
term loan account, ICICI bank term loan account, city bank term loan account, create one more GL account. Again, in the ICICI bank, you have two term loans. On, you have two term loans in ICICI bank. On the one term loan, you are paying 12%. On another term loan, you are paying 13%. In that case, for ICICI bank term loans itself, you have to create two GL accounts. 12% ICICI bank term loan account, 13% ICICI bank term loan account. So, what the thumb rule is, for every loan agreement, we have to maintain a separate GL account. So, I am taking 1,300,000. GL account is equal to 1,300,000. Company code 3366. Go to menu GL account create. Account group is secure loans. Account group is secure loans. And the term loan is displayed in the balance sheet, right? So select balanced account. Select balanced account. Short text is equal HSBC term loan account. Short text is equal HSBC term loan account. GL account long text is also HSBC term loan account. Go to control data tab. Account currency USD. Select only balances in local currency. Select line item display. Sort key 001. Then go to create bank interest tab, field status group G001, then interest indicator AA. So yesterday we have defined one interest indicator AA, right? I told you the interest indicator carries all the values necessary to calculate interest. Then that interest indicator is assigned in the term loan account. This is what you have done now. So till now, for the interest indicator AA, we have assigned number of values. Now this AA interest indicator we have assigned in the term loan account. So according to those values, the system calculates interest. What are those values? Now, how the system knows that it has to apply 12% on the balance of this term loan account? How the system knows that it has to apply 12% rate of interest on the balance of this term loan account. Right now, you have some space in the material, right? Against the material itself, you have some space, right? I'm sorry, in the material, against the step, you have some space, right? Please write down there. First, to take the notes, I will show you the links now. We have assigned, we have assigned the actual rate of interest we have assigned the actual rate of interest to the reference rate of interest B1. We have assigned the actual rate of interest to the reference rate of interest B1. The reference rate of interest B1 The reference rate of interest B1 was linked to was linked to debit interest and credit interest terms. under the interest indicator AA, under the interest indicator AA. And the interest indicator AA, and the interest indicator AA, <clears throat> 
was assigned in the the interest indicator AA was assigned in the term loan account master record was assigned in the term loan account master record with the help of these links with the help of these links the system will apply the system will apply 12% rate of interest on the debit and credit balances of on the debit and the credit balances of term loan account on the term loan account see look at the screen everybody please just now in the step number 5 enter interest values for the b1 look at the screen see for the b1 we have assigned 12 percent reference rate of interest right i'm sorry for the b1 reference rate of interest we have assigned 12 percent actual rate of interest okay then yesterday in the time dependent terms see in the time dependent terms interest indicator is EAA, right? So, in the time dependent terms, we have defined two terms. See, first term, second term, right? So, I am going to into the details of this interest indicator time dependent term. See, B1 was linked to credit interest balance interest calculation. Balance interest calculation means interest calculation type. Credit interest. Credit interest means interest on debit line items of the term loan and this link was provided under the interest indicator AA. Again, I am repeating, please listen to me very carefully. We have assigned actual rate of interest 12% to B1. The B1 was linked to credit interest means interest on debit items under the interest indicator AA. The interest indicator AA was assigned in the term loan account master record. So, on the debit balance of term loan account, the system will apply 12%. Clear? Similarly, you have defined a second term also. Let us go to the details. See, again, we have already assigned 12% to the reference rate of interest B1. And this was assigned to debit interest. Debit interest means interest on credit items. Debit interest means interest to pay. On which items you pay interest? Credit items. So, debit interest means interest on credit items. And this link is provided under the interest indicator AA. Actual rate of interest 12% was assigned to B1. Reference rate of interest. B1 was linked to debit interest. That is interest on credit items. This link is provided under AA. Then AA again was assigned in the term loan account. So, the system will apply 12% again on the credit items of the term loan. This is the link. So, with the help of this link, the system understands that, okay, on debit line items and credit line items, I have to calculate interest to 12%. Yes, credit means withdrawals. Withdrawal, on the withdrawals, you have to pay, no? So, I have given a graphic present here. I have given one um, PPT. Just look at the flow. Here, only the identifications are changing, nothing else. See, actual rate of interest 12% is assigned to reference rate of interest P1 in this example. But in our class, B1, nothing else. And this reference rate of interest P1 was linked to debit interest and credit interest terms under the interest indicator PQ and the PQ is assigned in the HSBC term loan. 
So this is the flow of values. But as far as configuration is concerned, first you have to define interest indicator. After that, reference rate of interest. After that, you have to define time dependent terms. After that, you assign the actual rate of interest to reference rate of interest. Then the interest indicator is assigned in the HSBC terminal. So if you can understand this flow, it's very easy to configure. Now, write one more, one sentence here in the material. In the against the same step, you write one step, one point here. For every actual rate of interest, for every actual rate of interest, it's a rule, it's a thumb rule, you can take it granted. For every actual rate of interest, we have to maintain we have to maintain one interest indicator we have to maintain one interest indicator and one reference rate of interest one reference rate of interest now <clears throat> Look at the screen again. Now, I have shown you the configuration only for one term loan. But your client is having four term loans from different banks with a different rate of interest. For example, your client has taken the four loans. One loan is from HSBC Bank. Rate of interest is 12%. Another loan he has taken from American Express Bank. Rate of interest is also 12%. Then Citibank. Citibank is charging 13%. Then ICSA Bank. ICSA Bank is charging 13.5%. Now, I told you, you know, for each term loan, we maintain one GL account, master account. And also I told you, for every separate rate of interest, just now I told you, for every separate rate of interest, you maintain one interest indicator and one reference rate of interest. Okay. Now, here HSBC Bank and American Express Bank is charging same rate of interest. In this case, in the GL accounts of HSBC Term Loan Account and American Express Bank Term Loan Account, you assign the same interest indicator PQ because both are charging same rate of interest rate. Right? Then we have another rate of interest 13%. So for 13%, you create one separate interest indicator, one reference rate of interest, and you assign 13% to the reference rate of interest. Then 13% is assigned to reference rate of interest P2. This is linked to debit interest and credit interest terms under the interest indicator PR, another interest indicator PR, and the PR is assigned in the Citibank loan account. Then you have 13.5%, no? So for 13.5%, you create, you define one interest indicator, let us say PS, then another reference rate of interest P3. Then we assign the actual rate of interest 13.5% to the reference rate of interest P3. And the P3 is linked to debit interest and credit interest terms under the interest indicator PS. And the PS interest indicator is assigned in the ICSA bank term loan account. So, if you understand this flow, you can configure even for 100 term loans also, no issues. This is how you have to understand the concepts. So, if you are very much clear with the concepts, you can build the configuration for any in-depth. Clear, no? And I think I have sent this slide yesterday to everybody. Right. See the next step. Assignment of accounts for automatic postings. This we will see tomorrow. So today I have to go to office a little bit early, right? So we will look into this in tomorrow's class. Tomorrow interest calculations will be over, okay? And if you have any questions, please can you please ask them in tomorrow's class? Okay? Okay then, see you tomorrow same time. Good night and good day.